Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. Believe it or not, here is me unboxing my first Tudor and sharing my views why this is now my new go-to watch. Let me begin by thanking you guys for helping me hit that 1000 subs benchmark. I couldn't have done it without you and really really appreciate your support in helping me get here. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. It will really help and I'll promise you the next watch you get will be something that you will really enjoy. Now back to the unboxing. The Tudor's box is pretty much a standard black box with the red shield embossed on it with its name printed in white. Quality ain't that great compared to its Rolex counterpart, it's pretty light. The case in it however is a different story. The top part of the case is covered with some form of latex material with the glossy shield printed on it. The bottom half however is wood. Underneath it has a suede material which is pretty nice. I personally prefer this over Rolex's green case. In the case, you got a little compartment to help store the extra links and tags. Over here, you've got the user manual, guarantee booklet, and the international guarantee card. Love the red stitching on the booklets. So which studio did I get? It's none other than the Black Bay 58 Blue, also known as the M79030B. I've done a review video on this watch and if you've missed it, I'll put a link in the description below. Before paying for this watch, I had the chance of getting this or the Black Bay 58 925. Obviously, I went with the blue instead of the taupe dial. If you'd like to know my views on the 925 and why did I opt for the blue over the taupe dial, do check out my next video. I tend to rotate wearing my watches every day. In other words, you won't see me wearing the same watch two days in a row. During the weekends, I love wearing my Seiko SRPF 79K1 or the SPB 103J1. During the workdays, I do enjoy my Rolex Submariner. If I'm wearing something gold like my gold cufflinks or my gold belt buckle, my GS SPGE 267 comes to mind. If it is brown shoes or khakis, it will then be my Zenit El Primero. If I'm in the mood for a classic vintage, that would be my Datejust 1603. If I want to dress to impress or if I'm attending a board meeting, the Panda Daytona looks good. On days I don't know what to wear or want something under the radar, the Air King 116900 is my go-to watch. My wild card. These have been my selection for the past two months. Well, the Air King now has a new contender, and I must say, I'm loving it. The BB58 Blue is now my favorite time only watch to go to. It is slimmer, lighter, and easy on the wrist compared to the Air King. The bracelet is really comfortable. Because it is a time only watch, the snowflake hands don't really disturb the reading of the watch. Unlike the problems you may face in the Black Bay Chrono, where the snowflake's hand would probably cover the small seconds hand and the chronograph timer. If you've not checked out my video on the Black Bay Chronograph, I'll put a link in the description below. Now back to the Black Bay 58 Blue, I like the contrast the snowflake hand gives compared to the round indexes. What I now notice about this watch is that even after the crown is screwed down, there is still a gap between the crown and the case. Anyway, let me know what you think at the comments below between the Air King and the Black Bay 58 Blue. Which do you prefer? To support me in making more videos like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe and hit that notification icon so that you won't miss any of my videos and I'll really appreciate it and promise to upload more videos like this. Until the next one. Thank you for watching.